Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add placeholder text to your contact form seven fields. Placeholder text is very useful because it allows you to add more information to your form. It can even allow you to remove the labels on the form. If we look at an actual live form, this is the basic form from contact form seven. We have these pieces of text, which are called labels. So your name required, your email required, subject, your message, those can be actually put into the form as placeholders and you'll be able to conserve space on your page if that's a concern for you. And it's just much friendlier to use that way. And so I'm gonna show you really quick how to do that. If we go back into our dashboard, we need to go to contact and then contact forms. I'm gonna assume you already have a contact form created, otherwise you probably wouldn't be looking for this tutorial. And then we're gonna click on edit to edit a form and to add a placeholder, what you have to do is, there's two ways to do it. If you've done it a lot, you will know if you type in placeholder, followed by quotations, and then what you want to have in the placeholder. So for example, your name required, and have that instead of the label, have it the same as the label if you want. That adds the placeholder. Now, if you don't want to memorize that or learn that, what you can do is just delete the short code that you have and then add a new one. So we're gonna add a text field, make it required. We're going to call it the your name field. This default value field is the one that becomes the placeholder if you check this box below it. So we're going to check that box. We're going to say your name required. You can see the preview down here. Uh, so you had placeholder and then in quotes the actual label which is or the placeholder which is what I showed you earlier. So if you're happy with what you have there, just click on insert tag, click on save. Now if we go back to our form and reload our form or reload the page, we see we now have the placeholder text, which if you click into the field, you can write right over it. As soon as you start typing, it's gonna disappear. So if your name is Bjorn, like me, you type your name in there and that placeholder text disappears. You delete the text, placeholder text comes back. So what you can do is add that placeholder field to all of the fields and really slim down your form. And I'm gonna quickly do that so you can see what a form with only placeholders looks like. Be right back. All right, here we are, I'm back. I've added a placeholder to every field. I was able to get rid of the HTML tags for the label and really clean up the, the markup for a field in the editor or for our fields. I'm going to click on save to save this and then reload our form on the page. And you'll see that the form is a lot cleaner this way. And if you really want to conserve space, this is a great way to do it. And we see the, uh, the placeholders describe what we have to do in each box. And there you have it. Those are the basics to adding a placeholder to your contact form seven forms. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to your YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.